All right, so before we head on to some more complex stuff like functions and object-oriented programming, I want to cover some of the basic problems you might be having with Python. The first is commenting. In any programming language that you'll ever deal with, commenting is must. Now, I don't do it, and that's something I should fix, something I should improve on, but whenever, or at least for you beginners, you should definitely start commenting the program that you write, or the code that you write. And if you don't know what commenting is, commenting is basically when you write normal text, right? And that normal text tells you, I was doing this, then this happens, then this happens. For example, let's say you're learning Python right now, and then after this, you pick up Ruby, then you pick up Swift, then you pick up HTML, CSS, and then when you come back to Python, you'll be like, huh, what is this code? I don't understand what I wrote. This is a problem I've had many times when I go from one code to another. This is where commenting comes in. So a comment is basically in Python using a hashtag. So if I use a hashtag and now if I say something along the lines of this, this is a comment, it's now taken as a comment. As you see, I have no errors, stuff like that. I can do it like this again, but it gives me an error, invalid syntax. Now, using the shell for comments is not the best thing. Using comments should be, you should use comments in files. So I'm just going to quickly open a new file and in this new file, you can now see I can put as many comments as I like. So if you're wondering where would I use comments, um, you would use comments when you're writing your code. For example, if you're creating an if statement, if var or if three is greater than two, print AST. So here I would use the comment that the greater sign signifies or compares the first object to the second object and um, if is a conditional conditional statement. So as we go along in the course, uh, make sure to take several comments in your uh, code. Again, most of the programming will be done in the shell, so there's no need to do comments, but if ever you're creating a program in a new file of some sort or in a different um, uh, idea layer of some sort, then definitely use comments because they're quite helpful. Now, before I end this lecture, what if you have multiple comments? Instead of writing these on two lines, using several hashtags, adding more and more hashtags, wouldn't there be an easier way if I could open a comment, write as much as I wanted to, and then end the comment? Well, this is where the tri triple quotation mark comes in. So it's quite neat actually, and all you do is you write three quotation marks. And then you can add any comments that you want. It can be any gibberish, any of some sort. However, it can be as many lines as you want. That's the triple quotation mark, okay? You can also use single, triple quotation mark, but it's easier if you just use a double, it's fine. So I can write any comment that I want to, and it can span multiple lines. And then when I want to end it, use the triple quotation marks Again, one sec. All right, so I use the triple quotation marks and now as you can see, this has been created into a fantastic um, comment. So this is the whole gist of the lecture. I just wanted to introduce you how comments work. Again, quick recap, you use a hashtag symbol for a one line comment and to do multiple line comments, you can use triple quotation marks. See you in the next lecture.